Welcome back to Squawk on the Street. Let's turn back to our Jane Wells, live in California with an update on the supply chain just one week away from Black Friday. Hey, Jane. Hey, Melissa, this is a 370,000 square foot uh, warehouse, which is near the ports. It's owned by Prologis. It's leased to a third party logistics firm called IDC, which handles a lot of that Black Friday material for electronics companies and uh, discount retailers. Now, when we were here a year ago, we shot this drone video. We were here at the height of the supply chain crisis. I mean, trucks were not delivering. Uh, they were not taking away empty containers. They still had Halloween stuff in here 10 days before Halloween. Fast forward a year, things are moving smoothly, maybe too smoothly, as some retailers are bringing in fewer imports from China because they already have too much stuff, or ships have switched over to the East Coast and are still going there. All of this happening in a tight warehouse market where there's still very little space left, and rents around here uh, in places like Torrance have skyrocketed. When I moved to the U.S. 12 years ago, you could get a warehouse in Torrance for 50 cents per square foot. Right now, you are at $2.40 uh, per square foot per month. So, so almost five times more. Uh, Prologis is the largest warehouse REIT. It has over a billion square feet. Should it be worried about a recession? Well, it's been able to lock customers in to leases averaging six years. What I will say is we pour through our proprietary data looking for those canaries in the coal mine. And everything that we see, we are still struggling to find any cracks in the, in the foundation, if you will. Still, about 60% of their portfolio is built on spec, and Prologis has paused any building on spec in 2023 until it gets more clarity on the capital markets. But guys, Dan Letter told me this. Interest rates, high interest rates, help him. It makes it more expensive for rivals to build warehouses, and it makes Prologis uh, facilities more valuable, which is the most glass half full thing I've heard about interest rates in a while.